Well, I said before, I've been up and down almost all day long. I'm in an oscillating mode. It is Saturday, January 16th. And it's about... Uh, 10.30. I was up at 8.30. Then I was up at 6.30 before. Uh, I'm in one of these, these modes where I can't sleep for too long. But the dream... I still dream while, I, while I'm in that mode. It just doesn't stop. And it becomes quite interesting to see how the dreams change depending on the physical conditions around you. And sort of looking at some of these sleep research uh, projects where the, the person is wired uh, to a console. And the problem with that is, is and this is where the thing is, is that there is an impact, an impact on the dream from external stimuli. In other words, if something's going on on the outside, uh, uh, sound, light, uh, whatever, it does tend to creep into your dreams in a different manner. How it creeps in is really not necessarily known. I don't necessarily know all of how the physical environment around me is impacting me. I do have some idea of the correlation, but not enough to go out and predict that this is going to happen if you're awake, if you're, well, in the physical environment, if this is going on, this is what's going to happen in your dream. Because it represents differently in the dream. Sometimes it really depends on what the dream is. Uh, the external stimuli will, the external events will actually trigger different uh, reactions within the dream. I know when I have to go to the bathroom, is I have to go to the bathroom in my dream. You, 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 you're having a discussion, you're talking to somebody, and you're like, oops, sorry, I got to go to the bathroom. And Typically enough, that's what's that's what's that's what's occurring. You have to go to the bathroom. So there is this sort of crossover between the dream the dream world and uh, the awake world. And so when a researcher does their job in terms of observing somebody's sleep, the question is, what impact? does the external factor have? And this is this is about how you do the research. It's not simply about the data itself. You have to understand how the data comes in. And unfortunately, there, there's not a lot of error correcting today. The, 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 the amount of error correction that actually goes on is very little. And so what happens, errors creep into places you wouldn't expect them to creep into. Now, as I was saying before, I was, talk, I was uh, looking up a word. I have, I have this Greek dictionary that sends me these words to translate into Greek. And one was called, one was Bobby Soxers. And I knew who they were, but they just kind of spelled uh, wrong and really didn't really hear, the, the, didn't really know the name too well. I've heard it, but And they had it. They had it associated with Shirley Temple. But the thing is, is that and this was even this is this was even Webster's dictionary. So big, you know, larger dictionaries had this associated, and they had it associated with Frank Sinatra. But I think Frank Sinatra was before the Bobby Sockets. He was he was popular in the fifties, in the thirties, in the thirties and the forties. That was the you know that was basically uh, World War Two, uh, around that era era there. That's where he was popular, and the style. You go back and look at the style at that time. You can go back and do a search on the styles from the nineteen forties, the nineteen thirties. You know, you do a style by the decades and see how when styles changed. 
uh, the Bobby Soccer style for the teenagers doesn't come in until uh, until the fifties, and it's and then you're, you're talking about uh, Buddy Holly, uh, Bobby Darren. You're talking about you know uh, a different era than from the nineteen forties. The nineteen forties was the was basically they're in something known as pixie cuts uh, rather than ponytails or pixie cuts. They were a a type of coif where the hair really didn't move. There was no freedom of movement in the hair. Everything was tightly controlled. And they were wearing, uh, in terms of the shoes, there were pumps. There wasn't a, a poodle skirt or, or, or anything like that. Uh, because you had on, you had there were these uh, sort of uh, the shoes were called tootsie rolls because the, you wore the white socks with them, the bobby socks for the girls anyway, and the shoes were black and white, so they were refer, referred to them as tootsie rolls. But that didn't come in until 1950. In the 1940s, you have uh, uh, pumps and hoop skirt and uh, pumps and, and uh, not skirts, dresses. Uh, it's in the 1930s you have, uh, and this is what they brought, brought her up, uh, um, what's her name again? Shirley Temple. Uh, Shirley Temple uh, had a, uh, a, a bobby socks on. But, that, but Shirley Temple at the time was six, seven years old. So there are bobby socks for little girls, but they weren't bobby socks for teenagers. The bobby socks are referring to the t- the, the teen years, these were the, 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 sort of the styles for teenagers uh, at the time, and that didn't come into the 1950s, but the dictionary was all over the place. It, it, it mixed up, and it, it's not a hard thing to do to go, how hard is it to go look at the different styles uh, from the different decades and to say, okay, well, it's in the 1950s. And not associated with Frank Sinatra, but associated with uh, 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 you know, Buddy Holly and Bobby Darren, you know, in the 1950s. But yet, that wasn't done. And you would have thought at some point along the time that, that this would have been checked, this would have been sort of reviewed, but no, it went into the dictionaries as, as fact. And it's wrong. <laughs> it's a, go look at yourself. Go do a search on the styles of the different decades, 30s, 40s, and 50s, because they're going all the way back to Shirley Temple. Shirley Temple is the 30s, so you look at the, at the styles in the 30s, you look at the styles in the 40s, and you look at the styles 50s up to the 60s, and you'll see how it changes. You'll see in the Bobby Sockers, the Bobby Socks for teenagers, for girls, didn't come in until uh, the 1950s. That was a style. You, and you can see how the styles change. And the music tastes change, too. But, again, this never comes out in these, the newer dictionaries. That, this is what you have to watch out for. Sometimes, information you think are, think are facts are actually wrong. This, not, this includes with a large chunk of history. Just because it's in print, or even on, this, on, in the, inter, on the internet, doesn't mean that it's true. You always have to go back and check your information to make sure that what's being said is indeed reality. And there are a number of ways to do this. It's not it doesn't take that long. It took me about forty five minutes to an hour. But for, for many people, if you're not a nerd and you don't like studying, that's going to be a bit inconvenient for you. But anyways, uh, uh, I am going to go back to bed. As I said I'm not opening or ending the vlogs anymore because yeah, this kind of continues. The, 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 my day continues on, and you're going to see that. That this is a continuation from point to point to point, from hour to hour to hour, from day to day, week to week, month to month, and year to year. Anyways, I'll see you uh, probably in a couple of hours, uh, or maybe even later on tonight. Depends on how I feel. It, the, it, the conversation isn't always here. So if the conversation isn't here, then I'm not going to vlog.
Well, it's about quarter to seven in the morning on Sunday. Um, I can't remember if I ever did start the vlog on Saturday. And that's, also, that's the whole problem is I can't remember uh, what I did. I know I did vlog at this particular period of time. And this is why it doesn't matter whether I start or stop the vlog or have an opening segment or an ending segment because things are squished together as they need to be squished together. So uh, <laughs> everything in some cases, because I'm upgrading on a weekly basis, is uh, morphed into one whole long day. And so there isn't a beginning or an end to the day. This is why there's no there's no no morning routine or night routine because there is no morning or night that I have and that I that I particularly have. I uh, go to bed when when uh, uh, my body is exhausted. And I can't go any further, and uh, I wake up uh, whenever I wake up. And the thing is, even while I'm sleeping, uh, the work continues. It's 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 an ongoing thing. And sometimes I am in an altered state where the dreams stay with me, and I still stay thinking about the dreams on a, on on a regular basis. And sometimes uh, that's not all the ca always the case, but I do have uh, periods of time uh, throughout the day where I'm I'm almost continuously in uh, meditation, the meditative state, and just sort of mulling things over in my mind and sort of. Uh, Figuring out in many cases what the next direction is and that's kind of what where I'm at right now is trying to sort of uh, Things have settled there. Uh, there is um, Good progress being made, but the question is where the next direction is. I just simply don't know um, There is a lot of possibilities uh, But I do have to is it what happens is that the, ch the plans I had for a number of the things have changed uh, because of the situ situations that are going on globally now uh, have changed. And so my plans have changed as well uh, just to deal with the reality of what's, what's going on. As I talked about QLARP in the uh, last video I edited and just put it up recently. Uh, as QLARP, it, it's nerd gaming. It's, it's uh, a live action role play. But rather than using dice or a fictional setting uh, to sort of drive the game, it uses reality. You sit within reality and try to make turn reality, in many cases, into a game uh, with your goals being uh, to sort of develop, uh, in many ways, a better world if if that's possible, to gain a better understanding of the situations going on, how people are behaving, how behavior evolves into uh, social uh, constructs and but the thing is, is even if you do understand things it doesn't necessarily mean that other people are going to understand what you see and sometimes when you set out to have a particular plan you need to be flexible enough to know that okay well the plans are going okay but maybe I need to do a little bit more adjustment a little more testing before I bring it out to make sure that you're getting out the, the, the sort of the best possible presentation of ideas that you possibly have that, that you could have, and sometimes you make mistakes, and, and, and the mistakes can be costly, and you in sometimes case have to start all over again because uh, what you thought you were doing, which was good, ended up sort of going up to nobody, and and nobody sort of sort of figured that out, and. One of the things I realized is that I had two channels named uh, uh, Kawhi Tea House TV, and so people were mixing up the channels, and so instead of going to one channel that, that I want them to go to, they were going to another channel uh, and seeing nothing there, so there was nothing to continue on at. So what I did is I linked the two channels together, renamed the old channel to uh, TV, uh, TV Zero, and I sort of progressed from there, sort of giving the two channels their own identity. Uh, but that means sort of, you know, it's going to take a while for the identity to change in the search engines. It's going to take a, a, a while for the identity to sort of really start popping up and becoming the sort of what it's supposed to be. 
Uh, so basically, we're off pace for another six months or so. But uh, there's nothing you can do about it in terms of changing the time frame. You just sort of have to keep going along. That's, and this is kind of what kind of what it is: is that you have to have a conversation. You have to have the sort of the presence and what I'm seeing, the, the conversation's getting better. Uh, and the thing is, can you go back and watch your own stuff? Do you like going back and watching your own stuff? Because it's different from when you're filming as compared to when you're watching. There's two different uh, perspectives. And this is where, where I was thinking about perspectives before. Just because someone's filming the same content or the same vlog doesn't necessarily mean you're going to have the same perspective. So you have two sisters who are in a vlogging family. They're vlogging their own thing. And you would expect, even cousins, uh, close cousins, are vlogging. And they're two vloggers. And uh, this is what I was watching from a YouTube store. I added uh, uh, the K family. Uh, uh, then there's uh, Sisters Forever. Then they had the two girls, Allison and... Uh, uh, Katie, something like that. I can't remember what the name is exactly. Uh, they're also vloggers, so you've got four vloggers within the same family. You would expect the contents to be exactly the same. But yet, because the perspective is different, you have four different vlogs. In many cases, of the same event going on, but you have four different views, four different perspectives. And this gives you a way to sort of figure out how to sort of to observe how people make decisions and how things affect them, as opposed to simply having a sort of, it we'll call it oh, a static story or, or, or something that's more flat in terms of the dynamic, because uh, you don't you don't have it. it, it, it well, from, if I'm telling a story or we're having a conversation here, that's my perspective. It's a different thing when someone else comes in and and, and sees the same thing that I say that I see, uh, that I observe, and brings their own perspective into this. Even though we're talking about the same thing, the difference in perspective makes it interesting. Anyways, uh, I said it's, uh, well, quarter, it's about almost 7 o'clock in the morning. I really haven't slept yet. I was supposed to be sleeping now, but I can't sleep. Sleeping up on a chair. But anyways, I guess this is having an imp impact. I'm vlogging. I've edited the vlogs for, the, for December 20th. I'm going on into the Christmas week. Uh, that's what I'm editing now. And uh, we're basically about a month off. So we're going into the 20th. And this uh, uh, tomorrow, uh, yeah, no, Monday is, Tuesday is Fota. It's the end of Christmas. Uh, so, uh We'll say b goodbye for a year. It was a good year, and then, but I said it's not going to be too long. It's going to be uh, in two weeks. We start uh, the preparations for Pascha. So, it's <laughs> church is never far off. It's always it's, it's it's part of the regular thing. It's part of the regular routine. That's part you know, just like the YouTube stroll is, and uh, church is uh, is part of my uh, what I call my routine. Otherwise, I have no other routine, so. Um, see you in a couple hours.